All right, folks, this is a quick BIOS overview. Give me a second to jump from one computer to the other. So I have uh, the computer I used to record with the video card, and then we have the other computer that this is actually uh, running this on. So this is a quick BIOS overview. And we are going to show you just the basics. Uh, I'll try and show you most of the screens. That way you can see them. Now, when you first boot up your computer, you're going to uh, hit delete to get in the BIOS. Either hold it in or um, click on it a bunch of times, whatever floats your boat. The uh, If you don't have a drive installed, like I currently don't, uh, this would automatically go to the BIOS, assuming you had everything else hooked up, all right? All right, so first time you go into the BIOS, you end up in easy mode. Over here, you have information about the uh, motherboard B660M Aris Pro AX DDR4. BIOS version, I will do uh, two BIOS update videos to show you that. I thought I had installed a 13th Gen i3, but this is the uh, 12th Gen i3 12100F. We've got... Uh, eight gigs of RAM in it. Now over here, um, we have our four RAM slots and uh, I actually have, uh, with this motherboard, it came in used damaged. So CPU pins were, uh, CPU socket pins were damaged and I only got one RAM slot to work. Amazingly, I, I found that this one worked, but hopefully when you guys buy yours, it'll be brand new and everything works great. Um, that said, this is where you uh, overclock the RAM. Uh, so when you first go in, it'll say XMP disabled. Make sure your RAM is compatible, right? I'll show you what to do uh, eventually if this uh, you enable it and it doesn't work. Uh, after you reboot this a bunch of times, hopefully you'll end up back into the BIOS and you can uh, lower the speed. Uh, to one that actually works. If you had a bunch of drives in here, this would be a place you could change the boot priority. All right. Over here, if I had something plugged into SATA, you would see that. I do have a, a GTX 1050 in here. So this is this first one's PCIe 4.0, but you've got a we've got a PCIe 3.0 graphics card, and then this one is a PCIe uh, 4. Um, or 3.0 by 4. Then you've got uh, two slots for M.2s, which we don't have any installed. Over here, CPU frequency, temps, voltage, etc. Uh, only one fan installed, and that's the CPU fan. You see the RPMs there. Um, you could go in and change the fan speed. Right now it's set to normal. There's silent, manual, full speed. You can also adjust your fan curve. I'm not going to demonstrate that here, but you have other options. All right, so let's head over to advanced mode. Now across the left, uh, favorites, you can add or uh, delete these out. But uh, these are, you know, some of the most common things that people, um, I guess, seem to like in here. And we'll click over to Tweaker. So I'm not going to say everything on here, but I will try and open up all the menus. Let's go into Advanced CPU Settings. And when I see something that jumps out. Now, if you wanted to disable Turbo Boost, you could do that right here, all right? We're going to leave it on Auto. So sometimes if your computer's running hot, uh, this is a good place to uh, drop it down. You're going to lose performance, but uh, at least, you know, you won't have issues with thermal throttle and or, uh, you know, wrecking your CPU, right? And we're just going to open these up so you can see what the options are. Now, here's the uh, power limits here. I always adjust those in side uh, Intel XTU. 
let's back out of this. Oops. So sometimes you can hit escape. Other times you've got to actually click up here. Um, all right. So as discussed, if your RAM does not run at the speed that you uh, were hoping it would, you could come in here and adjust it. And like this is a 4133 megahertz RAM. So, you know, maybe I would pick a lower number like, uh, you know, 4,000, uh, 3,600, 3,000, whatever, you know. Um, that's if, if you install the RAM, overclock it, and it will not boot. Um, you know, and after three times, it should reset itself back to the base speed which for this is, I think, 2133, something like that. Um, and if it does that, then you can come in and adjust the speed, um, slowly creeping up until you find that, that last speed that, that works. Um, but that hap that's quite common. All right, advanced memory settings. Timings. You may have to pause your screen because I am trying our best to get all this in in a relatively quick video. Okay, information about the, the voltage. Advanced voltage. CPU VRM settings, internal VRM. And that should do it there. Settings, platform power, IO ports, oops, IO ports. I'm not gonna open all these. Um, there's that gigabyte app that pops up in the beginning. If you wanted to disable that, you could do it right there, all right? Miscellaneous, trusted computing. Of course, this is compliant with uh, Windows 10 and 11. PC health status, just another place to see the same information that's, uh, I think some of it's displayed over here, if not all of it. System info. This is one place you can go to update the BIOS. Uh, the other spot is down here, and I'll show you guys that in another video. Um, information about boot, so you could change your boot priority if you wanted to here, and then that's going to do it, folks. Save and exit, all right? So if you have a drive installed with Windows, save and exit will, uh, hopefully, you'll boot into Windows. If you don't have a drive, Every time you hit save and exit, it's just going to come back into the, the uh, BIOS. Thanks for checking out the video, folks. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.